Hey guys, today I am proud to present this absolute beast of a Lego mock measuring 39 by 55 studs, and this build is actually of Murray's house from Stranger Things Season 3. You actually get to see a part of his house, which is more like a survival bunker than it is a house to be honest, in Season 2, when Nancy and Jonathan seek out Murray for help. But in Season 3, Hopper and Joyce, along with Alexi, go to him for help too. So er everyone needs Murray's help at some point, and that concludes my theory that Murray is the most underrated Stranger Things character. Anyways, this build is in collaboration with Gbricks and Zbricks, and we all built the same scene, so make sure to go check out their videos as well. They're both amazing builders, and I'll link the videos down below. Without further ado, let's take a look at this mock. I included a black border on the edge of the mock instead of freeforming the base like I usually do, but I honestly really love how it looks. Leading up to the bunker, and by the way, I'll be referring to his house as a bunker from now on, so just keep that in mind. Leading up to the bunker is some sand green grass giving into a dirt road section right in front of the garage, and if you're an older viewer, you might actually recognize the Todd Father car that I included in this LEGO mock of the 7-Eleven gas station over a year ago. I decided to use the same design because I really liked how that car turned out. For the outside of the bunker, I used a ton of reference material to make it look as accurate as I could. There's a garage door which doesn't actually lead to anything on the inside, the main door with the loudspeaker and the camera, some cobblestone walls, and a section of dark gray walls which I really like the texture of. Two of the roof sections are slanted, one is flat, and the other is quite a huge chunk of roof. In the show, this part of the roof would actually have more of a gradual curve but this is the best I could do in LEGO, and I still really like how it turned out. I included a window on either side, some dark red rust at the front, as well as a ton of detailing on top. You'll also get to see two satellites, one on this section and one by the entrance. That should cover the outside of the bunker, so now let's move on to the inside. You can take off every section of the roof for a better look inside, but even if you don't do that, I left the back of it open because I was quickly running out of pieces, and you don't even see the side of the bunker in the show, so I figured I might as well keep it open. Starting by the entrance, you'll see an American flag flag and a shelf cluttered with boxes and papers, and that's kind of a common theme in Murray's bunker. He's got junk everywhere. Right after that, you'll see the orange gates, which lead into the living room, and this is where Hopper, Joyce, and Murray are all interrogating Alexi, some more than others. I added in some couches, some tables, and some random stuff hung on the wall. I also made custom minifigures for every character. Behind Joyce are some stairs, but I was really running out of pieces by the time I got to the roof section here, and so the inside is hollow, and I didn't include any rooms, and so the stairs kinda lead to nowhere. Next to the living room is the kitchen, and you'll see the main cooking space, an island, and the dining room. Overall, I'm really happy with how this section of the bunker turned out, but we're only about halfway done. Next to Murray is a door that leads into a hallway, which connects to three other rooms. For this portion of the bunker, I kinda eyeballed where I wanted everything to go, and I'm pretty sure that none of it is actually accurate, but I don't really mind, I still like how it looks. On the left side is a bedroom cluttered with a ton of random stuff, and in the middle is a bathroom that has a walk-in shower, a toilet, a sink, and a lot of toilet paper because let's be honest, Murray will be the person to have a lot of toilet paper. Once again, there's a lot of random junk in the hallway just filling up every nook and cranny, but at the right side is Murray's mystery-solving hideout, I guess. You see this room in season 2 of Stranger Things when Murray shows Nancy and Jonathan how the barb investigation is going, and then they tell him that he's completely wrong ab about everything, but technically, this room would go behind the living room, but I didn't have any space left over on that side, and I just decided to include it here. The door can actually slide open like it does in the show, which I thought was a cool touch, and inside the hideout, I included a couple of desks, some drawers, and his latest investigation spread out on the wall. Anyways, that was the bunker. I hope you guys enjoyed because I am so proud of this build, and once again, make sure to go check out the other parts to this collab, which I will link down below. I won't be uploading for another 3-4 to four weeks or so, which I apologize for, but I'm going to be working on another huge LEGO project that might actually top this build as my largest LEGO mock ever, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.